And the race is on. Excuse got away well up from the outside. Candlelight Express is close up and Rivoli between horses. It's going to be Rivoli to put a nose in front of Excuse down toward the inside. Sense of gold in the yellow colors is out third. Candlelight Express to that one's outside and the green is fourth, but going to be four wide into that first turn. It's a length and a half more back to Penzance in fifth. Then a space of two more back to Lord of Mischief. And nothing at the back from Rambunctious Ride, who's already ten lengths behind. Rivoli takes him by the half-mile pole in front by just about a length to a lineup of three. Out wide, Catalina Express down on the inside. Excuse between horses there is Sense of Golden. Penzance, the favorite, going to swing toward the outside as Rivoli takes him past the three-eighths pole. The lead is three-quarters of a length now. Catalina Express getting closer from that second spot. Here's Penzance now launching the bid on the outside. And Penzance coming after Rivoli as they turn to the top of the stretch. Rivoli just in front. Penzance up on the outside. Sidles up a neck. And these two pass the 3 16 They're two and a half clear of Catalina Express. They have just over a furlong to go. And Penzance hits the front. Penzance just in front of neck. Rivoli digging in down toward the inside is battling back. Those two by the 16th. They're four lengths in front of Catalina Express. Penzance now a half length in front. Rivoli back in second. Penzance going to go on to win it here. We'll call it a neck in the end. Rivoli Rivoli was game, but second best. Catalina Express and a late running Lord of Mischief finished fourth. And the race is on. Yamo and Sassy's class toward the inside got away well. Wilma Flincher joining them up front as three of them right across the track here by the way the first time around. Street Rockin' up on the pace here on debut, but it's going to drop back in behind this trio as Sassy's class going to cut the corner and put a nose in front of Yamo in second. Wilma Flincher three deep in third. Street Rockin' is fourth. Starlifter, the other first time starter, is now fifth. Work hard is now toward the inside of that one in sixth, and at the back early on is Blue Creek. The favorite right now, seventh and last, and about seven or eight off the top as they spin on to the back stretch. On the front end, it's Sassy's class, the leader. Sassy's class, a half length in front through an opening quarter to moderate, 24 seconds flat. But here's Wilma Flincher now, and Wilma Flincher up to grab the lead. Sassy's class back to second. Street Rockin' continues to travel nicely in third. Yamo down at the fence, fourth, and about three off the top. Then comes Starlifter, who's in the fifth position. Work hard is back sixth, and it's another four then. Back to the late running Blue Creek. They have three-eighths of a mile left to go. And up on the front end, Wilma Flincher just in front of Sassy's class, who counters back toward the inside. Those two throw an opening half in 49-1. and one. They are a length and a half clear of the pair of Yamo and Street Rockin', who are third and fourth, just a length and a half off the top as they wind around that turn. Wilma Flincher, Sassy's class. Here's debuting Street Rockin' up on the outside, coming after the top two. Yamo is fourth, in behind, just two off the top. Then comes Starlifter, work hard, and Blue Creek is starting to commence a rally from the back. Blue Creek going to swing all the way to the outside to come after. After him. They turn into the stretch. Sassy's class down the outside street rock and Blue Creek is gobbling up ground out in the center of the track. Yamo in between horses. A final furlong left to go. Here comes Blue Creek on the outside. Sassy's class. These two go on. Street Rock and just in behind. It's Blue Creek with the momentum. Sassy's class is fighting on, but it's Blue Creek just in front. Sassy's class trying to come back. Blue Creek got it. Sassy's class was second. Might have been Starlifter getting up for third. It's a close photo there between Starlifter, Yamo, and Street Rock and for third, fourth, fifth. They're in the gate. And the race is on. Fast payday in the center. Reconvened down toward the inside was out well. Those two leading them here through the early stages. A see my Meister coming up in between horses now to challenge, but it's reconvened just in front. See my Meister assert dominance. Those three now across the track with one circuit remaining. They're a length in front of another lineup of three between horses. Erlen out wide is hometown here and down at the fence fast payday. The two at the back early on are Fingal and just deal with it. As reconvened takes advantage of that inside draw and cuts the corner and goes to the front now. Reconvened three quarters of a length to the good. Back in second assert dominance. On the outside, see my Meister under good hold is third. Fast payday stays toward the inside fourth. That trio is still lined up with Erlen and hometown hero they line up fourth through sixth they're two and a half clear of Erlen or rather Fingo and it just deal with it those two share the back 23 and four for the opening quarter mile as they go down the back stretch it's been all reconvene here reconvene in front by a length and a half getting a little bit closer now see my Meister gets to within a length assert dominance right in between them as those three have three and a half furlongs remaining it's a break of two more then back to fast payday between horses Erlen out wide hometown hero Fingo trying to pick between horses going to head down toward the inside is now seventh and just deal with the trails 
They go into that far turn with five sixteenths of a mile to go. Reconvene. See my Meister traveling nicely up alongside. These two by the five sixteenths. They're two and a half clear of hometown hero. Fast payday. Fingal still looking through a way between horses. Now just found a split. Is up to fifth now. Going to dive down toward the inside, it looks like, as they come to the top of the stretch. See my Meister and reconvene. Those two off the turn. Two and a half in front. A fast payday. Fingal now sees daylight and switches toward the outside. A final furlong left to go. Up front. It's still see my Meister reconvene. Here's Fingal joining the party on the outside and Fingal coming after the lead. Fingal hits the front. Fast payday. Reconvene. See my Meister. Those three, second, third, and fourth. But Fingal going away here. Gavin Ashton and Fingal at eight to five. One at two and a half in the end. Second was fast payday. Third was close. Might have been reconvene over See my Meister, but it is a photo for third and fourth. And the race is on. April Clover in the center. Zoli is handy. And Determined Sale also now moving up. And Determined Sale up to challenge April Clover. Those two, one, two through the opening furlong. Zoli is back in third. Then comes Mainstream Sale out toward the inside fourth. Judy Lane moves up to her outside. And at the back early on is at midnight. As April Clover trying to cross over there, tapping on the brakes is Determined Sale. She's going to let that one clear as Zoli now puts a nose into that second position. They go by the 3 8 pole. It's April Clover, Zoli, and on the outside, Judy Lane. Determined Sale shuffled back a touch there now, fourth, two and a half behind. Then comes Main Street Sale, and at midnight, the six of them only separated by four lengths as they come to the top of the stretch. April Clover been the leader throughout. Zoli now turns up the pressure on the outside. Judy Lane, Determined Sale still in behind horses. At midnight now comes alive on the far outside. Zoli hits the front just outside the furlong pole, but has a fresh challenge from at midnight and heavy on Toledo on the outside. Zoli digs in. It's Zoli in front by a length. On the outside at midnight is second. Three more back to determine sales. Zoli drifting down toward the inside but still in front. Zoli and Jorge Ruiz two for two to start the career. One at a length and a half. Good one there from at midnight. Long way back to determine sale and mainstream sell like that going for fourth. And the race is on. Destin's Rainbow goes out to the early advantage. Concentration of the green colors was out in good order, as was High Tech Prince, who shows good debut run, is third in the early going. But Destin's Rainbow and Heavy on Toledo opening up two and a half here. High Tech Prince, Concentration, they're second, third. They're two clear of Ruddy Buddy, who's back fourth. Then comes Understudy Kitty in fifth. It's three more then back to Thank My Lucky Moons, who is the trailer early on. Destin's Rainbow past the three-eighths pole front by two to High Tech Prince. On the march now is Ruddy Buddy and Understudy Kitty. The two favorites are moving. They're third and fourth. They're now second and third. They're moving up on the outside outside of High Tech Prince. Just in behind the leader who is Destin's Rainbow. Destin's Rainbow coming to the top of the stretch. Ruddy Buddy, understudy Kitty on the outside. Back to fourth now. High Tech Prince still only two lengths separate the top four as they come into the stretch. Destin's Rainbow the leader. It's Destin's Rainbow just over a length to Ruddy Buddy. On the outside, understudy Kitty still battling away in there is High Tech Prince. A final furlong left to go and Ruddy Buddy hits the lead. It's Ruddy Buddy to the front. Destin's Rainbow back to second. Between horses, High Tech Prince is now third, understudy Kitty fourth. But inside the final 16th, it's Ruddy Buddy, Mario Fuentes, to go on to win it here, Ruddy Buddy, by three in the end. Second was very close. It might have been Destin's Rainbow over High Tech Prince, but they were right there together. Second, third, fourth was understudy Kitty. They're in the gate. And the race is on. Determined goal asked for speed. Next episode has speed and goes right out to the front from the outside. Determined charm is faster, though. Determined charm going to go up to assume command. Next episode is second. Then comes determined goal. Don't tell Darren. They're out together third and fourth. Right to their inside. Beautiful, gorgeous. And the yellow colors is now fifth. Can you do the twist? Moves up outside of that one. And my boss lady at the back is up front. Determined charm leads them. Determined charm opens up. Determined Charm now by four lengths as they have just over six furlongs left to go. It's Determined Charm running toward the back stretch with a commanding lead. Up on the outside, that one's teammate, Determined Gold, joins next episode. They're together second, third. Don't tell Darren, just in behind them, fourth in the teal and pink colors. Another length back to Can You Do the Twist, who runs along in fifth. Down to the inside is Beautiful Gorgeous, and my boss lady still trails. 23 and four fifth seconds for Determined Charm. Takes him up the back stretch two lengths in front of Stablemate Determined Gold, who's in the second position. Down to the inside, next episode episode. Can You Do the Twist has made some advancement up on the outside. Is now fourth. Don't tell Darren back a spot fifth, but only four off the top. It's two more then. Back to Beautiful Gorgeous and My Boss Lady. 
Opening half in 48 and 4. It's been all determined charm. Determined charm by a length. Getting closer now is determined gold. And up on the outside, can you do the twist starting to march forward? But up front, determined charm kicks back away. Determined charm a length and a half to determined gold. Next episode down toward the inside. Can you do the twist? Three deep on the outside. Don't tell Darren, just in behind them. They come to the top of the stretch. Determined charm the leader. Determined charm off the turn. Suddenly in front, two and a half. Next episode now has daylight. Going to try to come after that long time leader down the outside. Beautiful, gorgeous, and don't tell Darren are both getting going. Determined Charm still there. Don't tell Darren. Diving to the inside is next episode. Beautiful, gorgeous down the outside. Determined Charm has to make another 16. Don't tell Darren. Coming after him, though. Don't tell Darren. Determined Charm. Don't tell Darren. Vince Chichamino up to win it. Determined Charm was second. Next episode there. Beautiful, gorgeous. Finish fourth. And now races on. Mansuto away a half step slow. Band leader from the inside. Cecil the Great showing good speed. Driving through now. Wait till midnight hour coming through. And wait till midnight hour pokes a nose in front. Of Cecil the Great up on the outside. Band leader down toward the fence. Those three rocket away by three and a half lengths to Kamikaze Fox, who's out in the fourth position. Moving up, Cheat and Song outside of Rennie Time. Down to their inside, Lothario's seventh. And it's another zip code. Got to be 15 or 20 lengths back to long shot Mansuto. Around that turn, wait till midnight hour. Cecil the Great, these two slugging it out. Band leader elected to drop back off the top two after that 22 second opening quarter quarter mile. Rennie is up to fourth. Down on the inside, Lothario starting to make some progress. Cheatin' Song is caught out four or five wide as they come into the stretch. Cecil the Great goes to the front. Wait till midnight hour. Tries to battle on toward the inside. Three more back to band leader and Rennie. Lothario continues to make progress down toward the fence. A final furlong left to go. Wait till midnight hour. Now back in front. Cecil the Great didn't go on. Up the inside, Lothario, Rennie, and band leader trying to get to wait till midnight hour. Wait till midnight hour length in front. Rennie down the outside. Lothario, wait till midnight hour looking for the wire wait till midnight hour got it second was rennie third went to lothario fourth band leader and the race is on Good start for Chakalos in the pink colors, who heads out to the early advantage. Down on the inside, Cupid Strike is forwardly placed, and Cupid Strike going to go to the front with Chakalosa now in second. Lady Pucci off the pace today as Misty Mauve moves up to her inside to put a nose into third. Full count, Felicia came away fifth, did the favorite early on. On the outside is down toward the fence. It's La Loba for Rose. Between horses is Dreamster. At the back is Star Rules, who got pinched back a touch at the start, is eighth and last with six furlongs left to go. On the front end, it's Cupid Strike, the leader. Cupid Strike by a length. Chakalosa in second there, two and a half, three clear of a lineup of three. Misty Mob to the inside. Lady Pucci between horses, full count. Felicia, the favorite, stays out three deep in the clear in fifth. 23 and four for the opening quarter mile as they go on to the back stretch. Just over a half mile left to go in their journey, and it's Cupid Strike, the leader. Cupid Strike by a length. Chakalosa getting a touch closer now in second, down on the inside. Misty Mav is third. Full Camp Felicia alongside Lady Pucci. They're fourth and fifth. They're a length and a half in front of La Loba for Rose. Dreamster just got a cue to go on with it. Is a length and a half in front of Star Rules, who is the trainer. 48 and three for the opening half mile. By the three-eighths pull they run. Cupid Strike still there by a length. Chocolos have been chasing throughout. Misty Mav stays toward the fence. Full Count Felicia gliding up on the outside. And here comes the favorite. Full Count Felicia now up to second trying to come after Cupid Strike. Lady Pucci, Dreamster is on the march on the outside. Dreamster about four or five wide in the blue cap, but is gaining ground is up to third now. They turn to the top of the stretch. Full count Felicia right up alongside of Cupid Strike. These two into the lane. Two and a half in front of Dreamster who's back in third. Down the outside, Lady Pucci is fourth. Final furlong left to go by Felicia. Forges to a narrow advantage. Cupid Strike battles on toward the inside but is now a length back. Full count Felicia goes to the lead. Cupid Strike then comes Dreamster, but full count Felicia returns impressively here. Won it by two in the end. Cupid Strike was second, Dreamster third, La Loba Feroz got going at a big price for fourth. And the race is on.
In the center, Proud Civilian showing speed. Here's Best Defense, and Best Defense now coming up to grab the lead. Proud Civilian driving up between horses, Dark and Fitzy, and when I get to heaven from the outside is fourth. Length and a half more than back to the team of Embolden and Fun Notion. They're fifth and sixth. To their outside goes Vocalize, and seventh and Bella Future is the early trailer. Long shot, Best Defense takes them into the turn in front by about a length. Dark and Fitzy chases from second. A length and a half more back to when I get to heaven, who cruises up three deep in third. Proud Civilian stays toward the fence, four, three and a half off the space. Then comes Fun notion. It's a length more than back to Embolden who starts to back up a touch, being joined by Vocalize and Bella Future as they turn for the money. Between horses, Dark and Fitzy. Three deep here for when I get to heaven and those two turn into the stretch. Just in behind them, looking for some rude, proud civilian. Down the outside, Fun Notion. Bella Future's made up ground, going to go toward the inside and Bolden started running on as well. Many chances here. When I get to heaven, grabs the lead. Fun Notion. Vocalize going to look for a split down the outside and Bolden. Here comes Embolden after the stable made Embolden down the outside. Vocalize running Two and Bolden, I think, got it. That was a wild finish. Vocalize, I think, got second. Third might have been when I get to heaven, but there was about three other horses there in the photo for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth.